In this video, you'll get to join me to Hollendam and Marken, two Dutch villages located near Amsterdam, making them an ideal day trip destination. Hello everyone, my name is Janika. I am an expat from Finland, living in the Netherlands, and welcome to this video. I realized my bus just arrived, so I need to hurry and catch that. You can get to Volendam easily by taking the bus number 316 from Amsterdam Central. You will find the bus station on the second floor by the water side of the station. You can pay for your ticket by using an OV chip card, by buying one from this machine, or by tapping in and out with your bank card. Cash is, however, not accepted in the buses. I have just arrived to Volendam, so today's plan is to first explore Volendam and then later today we'll be taking the ferry over to Marken and then we'll be exploring that as well. Today we are lucky to have some amazing weather, which I'm very excited about. It's almost 30 degrees warm, so I thought this is the perfect opportunity when to come and visit. So yeah, let's start heading towards the center. What I really love about Volendam is the architecture here. Like these blue and green houses are so, so cute. What makes Volendam really nice is this waterfront like promenade that they have. So along the water, they have here a long, long street. And this street is full of the cutest little houses, a bunch of restaurants and terraces where you can sit outside, a bunch of shops, like everything. Like this is the main place in Volendam, I would say, and the most beautiful. And there's a port and a bunch of boats. It's a very, very beautiful little street. Let's walk along here and see everything that they have to offer. And hopefully also find some nice spot where to have lunch. Because I do think if somewhere here in Volendam there's a nice spot for lunch, it'll be somewhere here on this street. Seems like there's some kind of fun fair here going on in Volendam or they're like setting it up but they've like decorated places and everywhere it says Kermis which means yeah fun fair and then for example you can see things like ferris wheels and stuff which is not something that's always here so there does seem to be some kind of event going on they seem to sell a lot of the like typical dutch foods here they sell short waffles for example over there they sell fish such as raw herring and kibbeling volendam is a popular town for tourists to visit and no wonder with it being such a beautiful place, with its picture square houses and harbor. Volendam also just has a very unique atmosphere to it. As it is a fishing village, many restaurants menus consist of fish that's served to you fresh from the sea. This town is definitely also very popular with the tourists. I thought as it's September now when I'm filming this video that there would be less people, but there's still quite a lot of uh, tourists around. Honestly, I think that's all year around, especially on beautiful sunny days like today. Somehow I managed to get very lucky and I found a restaurant spot outside that's also in the shade. It's very hot if you sit in the sun all day. So yeah, sitting in the shade feels really really nice and as we're by the water there's also a bit of a breeze. I already ordered a drink and also asked for the lunch menu. I was checking a bit like the reviews and this spot seemed to have some of the best reviews of the restaurants here in Bolendam as I do think some of these restaurants here might be slightly tourist traps or you know they might be a bit expensive. And quality might not be as good so usually in these kind of slightly touristic spots I always like to check Google Maps a little bit as I do think that gives a bit of an indication if a place is good or not. 
I ordered myself a toasty. To be exact, it's a cheese kimchi toasty. Let's try it. Wow, that's really, really good. It's a bit spicy, but also very cheesy. Who knew kimchi and cheese go so well together in a toasty? I've just secured my ticket for the ferry. There's a ticket office quite close by where the ferry leaves and it's an open ticket so if you get the ticket you can choose whichever ferry and the next one will leave at quarter past two. It's about half an hour so we can still walk around Volendam a little bit before the boat goes. And yeah the lady selling the tickets was really lovely and she gave me great tips and stuff. So you can either get a one-way ticket as I did and then take the bus from Marken back to Amsterdam or if you have arrived to Volendam with a car you probably want a return ticket so that's also possible but that's of course more expensive as well let's walk a little bit along the water before the boat comes the lady at the ticker counter also told me that apparently as it is the kermis this weekend it's about to start this evening like i guessed apparently it's gonna become <laughs> quite crazy and packed and loud so she said i'm just escaping on time to mark in before it starts If you can see that shore there in the distance, that's where Marken is. It looks like an island and honestly I first thought originally it is an island but it's actually a peninsula. That's where we're heading next. Every ride takes about half an hour and you can choose to sit either inside or outside. Off to Mark and we go. On board they have a little cafe and bathrooms as well. So during your trip you can just sit back and enjoy the beautiful sceneries. I have arrived to the other side so to market and over here the houses also look so so cute a little bit different from what they look in Volendam on this side as well you can find a bunch of souvenir shops so as I mentioned Marken is located on a peninsula but it actually used to be an island until 1957 when it was connected to the mainland by a causeway Marken is also a very idyllic town to visit with its unique looking wooden houses making it also a popular place for people to visit Marken has also a bunch of really nice looking restaurants and terraces so an idea if you are planning to visit both could maybe be to eat on this side instead as it is much calmer than what it is in Volendam and it looks really nice I must say. Honestly, like imagine living here. This place, yeah, it feels very idyllic, very cozy. I bet this is a very nice place where to raise a family, for example. A 
day like this requires ice cream. I've never seen this before, but it's a Lipton green iced tea flavored like ice lolly. This is the drink I usually order in restaurants, so I thought this would be perfect. Taste this just like the drink. I am now on the bus stop waiting for a bus back to Amsterdam. If you do take the bus back from the side of Marken to Amsterdam, do keep in mind that the bus doesn't actually go to Amsterdam Central. It goes to Amsterdam Noord. So you can either change to a bus or you can take the metro from Amsterdam Noord to Amsterdam Central. So it's still quite easy and doable, but just a heads up if you decide to come and visit. My original plan for today was still to walk to this lighthouse that they have here on Marken. It's about a half an hour walk there and then half an hour walk back and it's a beautiful walk. I've once done it before, although back then it was a rainy day <laughs> and the lighthouse was actually under construction, so we didn't really get to see it. So I really wanted to do it today, but if I'm completely honest, I'm having a bit of a stomach ache and it's been gradually getting worse throughout the day. And as much as I would want to go to that lighthouse, I'm afraid, yeah, I, I'm afraid I can't do it. So I'm really sorry. But just so you know, if you do come here, that does exist. And it is something I recommend going to check out. I think you can get some really nice photos from there and stuff. I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know. Would you want to visit Volendam and or Marken or have you maybe already visited? And if so, what did you think about it? Remember to also subscribe to my channel to join the journey. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again on my next adventure. Bye bye.